Why they still hate? Why they still hate? I don't know. We gon' rain forever. We gon' rain forever. We gon' rain forever. Uh huh. Pulling for my nation, why they still hate? Sons of God stand up for me. We ain't got time for no car case. You feelin' our people head up with abomination. Waiting for the Lord, we still patient. Truth coming out is real, Blake. I got a holy diet on e bacon. Watching out for them gutter rats, they still fake. They ain't no Jews, we the real Jews. Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Had to cut them up with a script right quick. Had to let them know I ain't no church dude. Nah, I ain't no church dude. I'm an Israelite, all about war. Pull a sword, gotta show the man what the verse do. Came with a friend, he gon' give himself a hearse too. Y'all, y'all, y'all should've known I don't play like that. Cut him up once, then he came right back. Cut him up again, then he fell right back. I don't get why he wanna catch a fade like that. I think he played himself. Oh, yeah. I think he played himself. We the best in the world. That's top shelf. We the Israelites coming for your wealth. Rain forever. We gon' do it big. Break the nations like a little twig. In the streets, we get it in. We got precepts that'll split your wig. Why they still hate? I don't know. Why they still hate? I'm putting on for my nation. You know who you are, according to the Bible? You know. Who would you say you are, according? Who would you say your nationality? Okay, you're a thief, but what is your nationality? Did you know that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? Therefore, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. So you said you're American, African, right? Okay, but you said you're African. Your, did your forefathers descend from Africa? Yes. Where in Africa? North America. I mean, North Africa. North Africa. Where in North Africa? What country? I have no idea. You have no idea. Were young people? Were young people brought on slave ships? Yes. Were yes. Were your forefathers brought on part of those slave ships? Yes. Okay. So you are an Israelite according to the Bible. That's you right. cannot right. be an African. You know why you can't be an African? Why? Help. Who came, who came and conquered Africa? A man named Leo Scythius Africa. Right. He was a white man from Rome. He was a navigator. How can he name him Africa after himself? So do you come from a white man? No. So how are you calling yourself an African? These are my brothers, though. Oh, they're not your brothers. You want to know what they did to you? You want to know what they did to you? You want to know what they did to you? You want to know what they did to you? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Let me get my hands on the side. I'm sorry. 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 I'
in the sight of the nations. Are we a wise and understanding people in the sight of the nations right now? No, not at all. They look at us as niggas, fools, spits, red bucks, what? We act like it. We kill each other on a daily basis. We sell drugs to one another. We don't have any families at all. It's one night stands, one hit of and that's it. Now these ladies stuck with a baby, and the daddy don't give a damn about her or the baby. Why? Because we got away from God's laws. We, we shall hear all these statutes. But if we were keeping these commandments, it said these nations would hear all of these statutes that we can't read and no. say, surely uh -huh. this great nation, surely this great nation, for a wise and understanding people. And a wise and understanding people. That's who we were supposed to be. But you know what? We got away from God's law. We're out here in the midst of drunkenness. And people look at us like we crazy. Let me get that in 1 Peter 4 and 4. Because when we come out here, everybody else is drunk, reveling up and down the streets. And they look at us crazy as hell. Like, it's one of the drunk. But the Bible speaks about it. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 4. The book of 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 4. Uh-huh. Wherein they think it's strange that we run that with them. So they think it's strange. These people out here think it's strange that we're not running with them. While we're not chasing after these women that are dressed like whores. They think that's strange. Because according to the Bible, we don't do that. We are real men. We are the prophets of the Most High God. That's right! And we're trying to build a nation. We're trying to come back to God's people. But right now, you're not acting like God's people. That's what you got to come back to. Go ahead. Wherein they think it's strange that we run not with them because we don't run with them. We're not worried about all of this foolishness that we're in. We because we're going to endure until the end because we know something great is to come. We know that Christ came and died for us and that if we keep his laws, we shall reign forever. Glory to the same excess of right because we don't go to the same excess of right. We've been, on, we've been out here for maybe two hours, and in that two hours time, our people have been fighting, our people have been drunk. No. When are we going to wake up? When are we going to wake up as a people and realize what we're doing is not right? Bring it up. They speak evil of you. They speak evil of us. Why? Because we're trying to give you the commandments of God? We're evil because we're trying to wake our people up to the true knowledge? Bring it up. We're evil because we want the best for you? No. I see Christ in you. Like you should see Christ in me. I see the good in you. I see that God has chosen us. And the only way we're going to get up out of this hell hole is if we keep God's laws. Go ahead. Yes, sir. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 3. Uh huh. For the time past, our life may suffice us to have wrote the will of the Gentiles. Right, because in times past, Look, and you see it happening right now. We are living the life of Gentiles, of the nations. We are going after their gods. We are going after their revenants. We are doing what the heathen did. Read. When we walk in lasciviousness, we walk in lasciviousness. Lasciviousness is strong, lustful sexual desire. And that's what's happening right now up and down the street. When, they, when men see you today, when these men see you, they don't look at you as a wife to have a family with. They look at you as just pleasure for 15 minutes and then I'm done. But that's not what we're supposed to be according to the Bible. Is there more? Lust. Excess of wine. Uh-huh. Excess of wine. Right now what our people are doing is the excess of wine. That's okay to drink. Christ drunk wine, did not. But we're not supposed to be drunk. We're not supposed to drink it in excess. Read. Reveling. Reveling. Out here in the clubs. Making a scene. Making a fool of ourselves. Go ahead. Banquetings, banquetings, and abominable idolatry. And abominable idolatry. Everything that our people are doing right now is not of God. That's right. Everybody out here says that they love God. But would God be out here on Bill Street doing what you do? Answer yeah. me that. If you really love God, would he be out here doing what you doing right now? Bring it up, bro. No, he would not. Our people should be ashamed of themselves. Because if God and Christ was here right now, all of y'all would be put to death. Right? This is what this is what grace is. This is that time period to put yourself right before he comes again. Because when Christ returns, it's not gonna be any more talk. It's not gonna be all oh, right, let me get myself right. He's coming back to heal. And he's only gonna save those of the children of Israel.
So, you said that you're a right? Now, you probably wondered. Hey. So, then again, you know, we, we say black, Hispanic, and Native American because that's what our people are getting about today. As you can see, there's some of these brothers out here that are lighter than me. You see what I mean? We have people that raise in different colors. It's not about the skin color, it's about the bloodline. That's, that's right. where people get these curses. So I said that you're Israel, right? So how now my job is to prove to you that you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Let me get this real quick. Hold on, let me get this real quick. Let me get this. This is Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass. Right, so the Bible said it shall come to pass. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he said, if you don't want to hearken to all the laws that I gave you, go ahead. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake you. That all these curses was going to come upon you and overtake you. So now, we're saying we're cursed. Let's, let's read some of the curses that came upon us. Let's get to the right. 28 and verse 28. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Lord, the Lord shall smite thee with madness. It says the Lord shall smite thee with madness. Are not our people mad? Look at us right now. They hate right. each other. They sell right. drugs to each other. They continue. Look at our community. We have the worst community known to man. Why is it that our people, everywhere you go, our people feel the ghetto? Why is that? Because we are going to speak in our madness. Go ahead. And blindness. And blindness. Because we can't see. We can't see what it is that God has required of us. Go ahead. And astonishment uh -huh. of heart. Right? Uh, now, is that it on 28? Let me get verse 32. So now, the are curses. These are curses that came upon the Israelites. That's how we identify ourselves the Israelites. Verse 32. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters, thy sons and thy daughters, shall be given unto another people. In such who are our sons and our daughters given to? Shall I say it again? White people. Our sons and our daughters were given to the so-called white man in slavery. This is Bible prophecy. Name me one other nation that went through that. I'll wait. Name me one other nation whose sons and daughters was taken from them and given to another nation. Did it happen to the so-called whites? Did it happen to the so-called Asians? Uh, and the Japanese, Chinese, Arabs, Iranians? It didn't happen to them. All their children were not taken from them. That's how we know these curses did us. This didn't happen to nobody else. It's going on verse 32. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. Because we see the movies, we see the lights, we see the 12 years of slave. When they took our children, we were sorrowful. Our eyes fell with longing because what? All the day long, uh -huh. and there shall be no might in thy hand. There was no might in our hands to get our children back. So when you saw, have you seen 12 years of slave? You remember when that lady's daughter was taken away from her? She cried and she cried and she cried. That was the curse that the Bible is speaking of. That's because true. she could not get her child back. So what was your question, brother? I know you've been waiting for this. What was your question? <laughs> Yeah. 
but we going out here as well. We're showing you what is doing wrong, so we can come back to Christ. So that when Christ returns, we won't be put to death. Let me get Zephaniah uh, one, one and eight. One and eight. Check this out. Yeah. Uh, check this out. This is Zephaniah chapter one verse eight. Pick it up. Book of Zephaniah chapter one verse eight. Come on. And it shall come to pass. Right. So it says this shall come to pass. And it hasn't happened yet, but it will come to pass. Read. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, meaning when Christ returns the second time. Go ahead. That I will punish the princes. And the king's children. That he's going to punish the princess and the king's children. Go ahead. And all such are clothed with strange apparel. All those that are clothed in strange apparel. So you're asking me, what is strange apparel? Can I ask you a question? Let's read it. Let's get through the Bible. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The Bible says it's going to destroy all those that were clothed in strange apparel. So what is strange apparel? Let's see what the Bible says. Go ahead. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The Bible says, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, what, pertain, what do women wear that pertains to men? Don't be afraid to say it. So, okay, what do women wear? I mean, what do what can a man wear that pertains to a dress? So what do women wear that pertains to me? Hands. When you go to a bathroom, how do you know which bathroom you're supposed to go to? A woman has on a dress and a man has on a pants. But this isn't being taught by the Christian church. They told you that it's okay. We're telling you what the Bible says. This isn't nothing that I said. This isn't anything that I made up. This is God's word. Back in the 1950s, Borders 
a ribbon of blue. And we put a part of red in a ribbon of blue. Why do we do it? And it shall be unto you for a friend. It shall be unto us for a friend that he may look upon it uh -huh. and remember all the commandments of the Lord. All the commandments of the Lord. So when we go out here, when we out here in society, people say, oh, those are different. They don't do the same. They keep God's law. They keep us in check. We see these friends I'm not going to be out here on bills and be in trouble. I'm not going to be out here on bills and be taking these weapons that they do and all that switching. That's what we're supposed to do. Let's see, because you say, okay, I can say it, 
Let me get Lambert to kneel down on it. Bring it out! Check this out. This pipe was on matter of fact. Let me get Suns 147, 19, and 20. Check this out. Let the pipe come out, bro. Let the pipe come out. This is Suns chapter 147, verse 19 and 20. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and 19. Come on, he saw his word unto Jacob. Hey, but check, hey, you just get a Hey, make sure you get to the Why y'all talk about these not the real girls? Huh? No, we read this real quick. Let me he saw his word unto Jacob. I don't understand. His word unto Jacob. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Six. Six. Are you, are you drunk right now? Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC 
will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.